Thanksgiving, so day off. So we're gonna go meet up with our friends Connor and Steph, and they're on a Brewer 44. You want a quick tour? Yeah, yeah that'd be great. Uh-oh. Yeah, we got some blockage. This is so cool. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Previously on Project Atticus. After spending three years refitting our fixer-upper sailboat, we left the United States with only $2,000 and the goal of working while we cruised. We made it as far as Isla Mujeres, Mexico, before we ran out of money and had to find work. For the next year, we did freelance boat repair jobs until we saved up enough cash to cast the lines and sail south to explore the Western Caribbean. For the past couple months, we've been working hard on boat projects in Bocas del Toro, Panama to prepare Atticus for her biggest challenge yet, crossing the Pacific Ocean. All right, morning, bud. Morning. Well, it's t what's today? Today is Thanksgiving, so day off. All right. <laughs> We're gonna go hang out with our friends, Steph and Connor, and they told us about this hidden bat cave in the jungle. So our mission today is to have an epic dinghy excursion into the jungle, hopefully not capsize, find some bats, hopefully not get attacked by any of them. And then afterwards we're going to a Thanksgiving cruiser potluck. So I made some quinoa stuffing. So hopefully that will, this will last for the dinner. We just did the old swapperoo because she's busy and so she just pawned us off on her friend. A smaller launch up. <laughs> up with our friends Connor and Steph and they're on a Brewer 44 which is a really cool boat um, it's actually on the short list for Atticus 2.0 we're gonna see if they might give us a little tour real quick before we go on our epic adventure over <laughs> what's up buddy good to see you hey, hey. hey. <laughs> so Connor here is uh, the proud owner of what's the boat's name grace Grace, Brewer 44. So we uh, lived aboard in Miami while we fixed up the boat and got everything uh, set up and ready to go travel. And now we're uh, enjoying the fruits of our labor a bit. The, the plan is this adventure is going to last through uh, kind of the end of next summer and then we'll put in the market. So if anybody out there wants a sweet Brewer 44, this one's for you guys. I'm going to try and buy it first, but I, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't we'll know give, if we're going to make it. We'll give it. you first dibs for Thanks, sure. Dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> give, me, give me five bucks off. <laughs> yeah. 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 You want a quick tour? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. All right. Well, first of all, I dig your semi-enclosure, right? I'm we do have some enclosure, the front uh, strata glass, which is, works really well. It's the hard. Uh, enclosure panels, oh, nice. which means it's very clear, doesn't distort any of the light. We have the three up front, plus a little curtains here, so you can always find a place, either the starboard side or port side, to stay dry. Right. Yeah, this, this is the real focal right. point of the Brewer 44 is the cockpit. Huge cockpit. It fits six really very comfortably. You can lounge out at least three people or so. Yeah, it's so. awesome. This is like my first test. <laughs> yeah, I can stand straight up. Heck yeah, nice even one. with shoes on. So. Yeah, what's this Tip? area used for? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I will say I do like how it's a tight U galley. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like you, if you don't mind. Uh, <laughs> you no, know, bring it in. in how, 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 yeah, how, how much room is there in here? Just, no, but just literally when you're underway, you're not ever far from like Absolutely. something stopping you, which yeah. is really cool. But tons of storage. I mean, the Brewer 44s are really set up for long-term cruising. So, so when we left Miami, we figured out we had 675 meals worth of food uh, aboard. So, what? I yeah. mean, months and months of food. Yeah, this is uh, the deep freezer and uh, goes down a couple Ooh, feet there. So real look deep. At that. We got the, the fridge here, and this is just the bottom access down. What? That same oh, fridge. wow. That is cool. So you guys from the top and bottom. That. Yeah, the main salon table's got two leaves that fold up on each side. Obviously there's two uh, single berth swad C with, with lead cloths. I really like how open it is, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you could have 
you know, six, seven people over here and somebody cooking and it's just everybody's all interacting. And now the V-Birth. In most boats, the V-Birth is the master. For us, it's the uh, the second cabin, it's the second stateroom. So pretty comfortable, big opening hatch above, lots of ventilation. It comes with in-suite head Ooh. up here, which I have very unapologetically mounted a big water maker right against the bulkhead. This is our nav station. This is just open CPN, it's the free open source software. This, uh, this walkway, so we're heading towards the aft cabin. So along the way is our main power panel. This is all parts for projects in, uh, that I'm working on. The right. rest of this is all tool storage and parts and uh, oh, tapes yeah. and of course spare parts and sealants and glues. It's funny because you've got this like big beautiful boat and one of the things that I'm most envious of is like this little cave. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like and all that storage. That's amazing. Well, if this wasn't enough, the engine room is the real beauty of yeah. the center cockpit boat, especially these brewers. So a real great engine machine space here. Great access to replace the engine. The cockpit unbolts and lifts off so you can pull the engine right out of the boat. All LED lights, all with one switch with lights in every crevice. I can see underneath the engine if there's That's any leaks cool. or problems. Yeah. So yeah. finally, the stateroom in the back. So this is the uh, the master stateroom. It's a big uh, triangular shaped bunk. Very good ventilation. We got uh, five opening portholes back here, plus the hatch, plus the companionway. And then this is that entrance or exit to the cockpit. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So you go right access the cockpit right from here. Boom, very cool. Yeah, that's that's really cool. I like that. And your bed's huge. <laughs> <laughs> I just love how two people this could be their own space. Yeah. And they literally could like wake up in the morning and go for a walk and the other people wouldn't, wouldn't even know. know about it. Yeah, it's I very mean, isolated, yeah. That's cool, I, it's so awesome. Yeah, yeah. then the uh, aft head attached to the, the cabin back here with a little sit down shower. So I was pretty skeptical about it, but it works very well actually. You can step into it, enjoy a little sit down shower, just use the, uh, the sprayer and the yeah. water dip. <laughs> totally, yeah, and you got that little there. bulwark there. Yeah, it keeps everything dry. I mean, a lot of, uh, you know, head compartments like the front head, if you shower in it, it's just the wood and the bulkhead and eventually it would rot. So this is just pure molded fiberglass, so it lasts forever taking showers in here. Yeah, so, that's, oh. that's uh, cool, man. I like that spot. vinyl right yeah, there, too. Yeah, it's one of our, is a piece of our old, uh, our old cockpit enclosures hung it here to keep the water in. Yeah, very it cool. It a pretty good job. I tolerate the structure to hold the solar panels because it works so well. It's solar panel right on frame to make it as small of a cross section as possible. So works well, very strong. We have our awesome deck sprayer in back, which we use almost every day. Do you find that this kind of aft deck area, is it just like, you kind of find uses for it, even though it's a little weird, or like, do you actually like this? This is awesome. Aspect? We love it back here. We have a big bean bag while sailing. The, the solar offers a bunch of shade. You can put the bean bag back here and hang out while the boat's just sailing itself. Right. Uh, with autopilot on, we keep all of our dive gear in the locker here. You so can come out of the water and not get your cock. Yeah, wet. you can shower here. You can take all your gear off here. You can, you know, if we're diving off the boat, you can, you know, sit here and pull your big wetsuit on. Cool. One other thing we should point out is our, our beautiful hide, the hydro generator. Yeah. So this propeller you throw in on a prop shaft as it spins in the water. This line spins and rotates the torque to this little motor, right. spins it, makes electricity. That's Basically cool. that runs the whole autopilot while we're offshore sailings. Main sail, we have a stack pack. It's great for reefing off the wind. It just sail drops into it and it works pretty well. And then what are your head sails here? Is that like a true Yankee jib and a stay sail? We have right now a new sail we just made because uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of upwind work in the next couple months. So this is a smaller kind of a working jib which we're testing out. And um, obviously the staysail here is great. If the winds do increase, you just roll up the jib, unroll the staysail, everything keeps sailing. Well, cool, man. Thanks for the tour. Absolutely. You cool. guys ready to try to find some some, uh, some bats? Let's do cave? it. Yeah. So we're gonna go try to find this elusive bat cave in the jungle. And Steph is gonna stick stick around here and make some food for the potluck because we took up too much time chatting. So what are you making? Uh, green bean casserole. If we catch bats while we're in this elusive bat cave, can we bring those back and cook them for food? Is that no. is green, green, <laughs> green bean casserole with a side of bats? 
Yeah. Nothing like the Cuba Libre in a can, ready to roll. Oh, That's yeah. right. Adventure, adventure drinks. Two of my favorite things, Cuba and freedom. <laughs> Right. Okay. <laughs> Here's the bat cave. Connor, do you know where this cut is exactly? No, I okay. don't ha uh, have a phone or a GPS or a chart with me, so we're just gonna run the coastline at high speed until we find what we're looking for. That sounds like a foolproof <laughs> plan. Here we go, buddy. You ready? Looks like it could be something. Let's check it out. There's some kind of dock back there. Yeah. I don't know if we can get back there. Yeah. I don't think that's it. I think I'm gonna see two little coves over there. It's like a over? swamp in there. Overheads in? It almost looks like maybe that's like a cut, you know? Yeah, it does. Is that it over there? La Cueva. La Izquierda. Gracias. There you go. Yeah, this way. No, this is wild. I mean, it's just, there's so much growth and these vines hanging down and all the mangrove root system. Very wild. It's so peaceful back here. Totally an impromptu drum battle between the both. <laughs> Here, bang, bang this on the. might have a whistle somewhere. Dude, oh my god, do you have It would a be on that jacket in there. There'd be a life yeah. jacket in there. <laughs> we showed those eight-year-olds. <laughs> Of all the things I thought that were gonna happen to us on this trip, <laughs> that was not on the list at all. person didn't say, this is the way to the cave. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, we got some blockage. Did you feel like there's a bigger stick in there? No, I think we're good. good? Yeah, yeah, I think it's kind of isolated there in the middle. All right, well done. Nice one, Capitan. Yeah, it's crazy how like it's, it's dense jungle 
on either side and then like relatively deep water in this narrow little river. This is just so gnarly. Yeah. Welcome to the Bat Cave. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, welcome to the Bat Cave. Pretty unambiguous. Found it. <laughs> if you want, we can put it in my bag. Leave the bag here? No, I'm gonna bring the bag. I'm just saying if you want to Okay, you ready, Connor? Oh, stoked. That'd be awesome. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. There's like a river right next to us. You can hear it trickling by, and then you hear all the birds and the trees and insects, and I think there are frogs, and it's just like this crazy experience. <laughs> Man, this is some serious mud. Yeah. <laughs> is that an insect, that noise? That's a cicada. cicada. Look at that bamboo! <laughs> That's pretty dang cool. Oh, it's like a creepy tarantula spider leg bamboo. Yeah, that's crazy. It's like a bamboo explosion. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when we get in the entrance inside the cave, when you guys look up in the ceiling, look up and make sure don't open your mouth. You guys have to keep your mouth closed because there's a thousand parts in the ceiling. <laughs> and just don't drop in and put that stuff. Oh, <laughs> That's a good reason not to open your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> How's the water, Connor? It's chilly, yeah. it's not warm. Oh, oh, oh. What? <laughs> really? I, I felt something. <laughs> Dude, Connor, chill, that's just a water snake. <laughs> oh, did you feel it? No. What? What is it? <laughs> okay, I felt something. Okay. <laughs> can, you, can you hear them, bud? The, the bats? bats? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of all the bats, bud? That's a lot of bats. <laughs> <laughs> Going in? It's chilly! <laughs> it is chilly. A little fresh water shower. <laughs> Yeah, we're all...
So we are in the laundry room of this marina and there's just food everywhere <laughs> and it all looks really delicious. Yeah, I want to eat it. By the weather, I don't really feel like running across and finding out and then turning around and yeah, not it, having any It is really pouring down out there. So we are designated to the kids' table. <laughs> 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 well, happy Thanksgiving, guys. Cheers. 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 Happy Thanksgiving. Cheers. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this week's episode. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking there. And if you're a huge fan of Project Atticus, consider becoming a patron over there. Hope you're having an amazing holiday season with friends and family and delicious food, maybe even some sailing. And we'll see you next week.